35 has turned out to be quite the celebration. Malcolm Campbell broke the land speed record in his Bluebird car, and the Royal Mile opened a ride to celebrate this achievement. They also added a ride which upset somebody called a keyboard warrior, because it exists today, but they're going to tell you it's much later. And King George V celebrated his Silver Jubilee as the King of the British Empire. The first of many more, I'm sure. Um, who's going to tell him? Me or you? Ah, uh, yeah, you guys, welcome to 1935, and welcome back to the Royal Mile. And as you can tell, I'm still really poorly sick. I'm going to need to do the episode slightly differently this week, because I'm also working away next week, and I just don't have the time to build, edit, be sick, and work as well. There's just not enough hours in the week, you guys. I mean, if you can invent some more, that'd be great. Yes, please, I'll take them. Uh, so this week, we just need to cut straight to a finished product at the end of the episode, so that means this is going to be a bit of a shorter episode. But anyway, this is 1935. This is what we have added. We turn our affections firmly in the direction of Kennywood this week for this little car ride. And why a car ride, I hear you cry. Well, why indeed? It's because 1935 is the year that Malcolm Campbell broke the land speed record in Bluebird. So, it feels only fitting that somewhere like the Royal Mile, one, Royal Mile will want to pay tribute to that because it happened on British soil. So, of course, we're going to put the car ride in. And why are we turning to Kennywood for this one? Because that's America. Uh, well, there aren't many references to car rides out there that existed in 1930. And this one, the auto racers did. Um, so I know that we're going to be able to keep this ride grounded in reality whilst still working with Planet Coaster with it right so that's why we're going for for kennywood and i mean all i need to do with this one is just turn all of this into a wooden track um because that's how it would be we're not going for the uh, for the kind of car rides that you and i know and recognize that exist in the world today we are just literally um <laughs> we are just literally gonna rip off kennywood uh, i don't know where the stutters come from by the way it's literally started as i've been recording and it's not the recording software because it's it's sectioned away like resources are not taken away from planet coaster to record so i don't know where it's come from but hey it, it is it is what it is i'm too sick to care <laughs> like i just don't care so this is the uh, uh this is the layout that we've got going on here then as i said it's really similar to kennywood it comes out of the station comes around this way and it enters into a couple of straight uh, straight bits now the straight bits are supposed to represent the uh the bit in Carmarthenshire where they actually broke the land speed record right so that's why it's a long straight section uh, it's, that's got nothing to do with wanting to copy kennywood um and then it comes around into a loop, not a vertical loop, a ground loop. Uh, and then it comes back on itself, passes by the station, and then comes back through and winds its way round. Uh, and then it's going to come back into the station. Really, really simple layout. Uh, again, remember that theming doesn't exist in 1935. So this is going to be kitted out to be... Um, like gardens and that sort of stuff. I have left space here for future rides uh, that are going to come in here because remember we are almost like developing this side of the this side of the park as the theme park, and then this side of the park is going to be the, uh, the like the nature area and whatever. Of course, this is going to get developed over time, but this is where our attentions are because this is where everything is being uh, is being developed. You will also spot one new ride that we have here. Here it is, the chair swing. Yes, these existed in 1935. Actually, they existed before that, um, and this. This would have been 1934's edition um, because obviously the park is now in a, in a rotation of continuous improvement cycles. Uh, so this is now sitting outside of the lake. I wanted this to play with the lake. I wanted it to be a feature. Maybe in the future years we're going to have fountains and stuff, you know, like Fantasyland style fountains and whatever. But for now, it's just going to play with the uh, <laughs> with <laughs> it's going to play with the water. Um, and then I'm just going to need to decorate and kit this out. And then, as you would have seen at the back here, I have just uh, moved the pathway. I haven't moved the pathway. I've actually put the pathway in around the back. So we talked about doing this last week. So we now have the actual path, uh, the actual path here. And then the woody is sitting in the background. I just need to sort out all of the terrain, and I need to re-put the fencing in. So that's why I didn't copy across uh, the the expensive fencing because I knew that the terrain and stuff was going to change. So the don't die fencing was just a bit of a placeholder. Uh, so anyway. This is what we've got going. I have already started the time lapse, so we're going to go back in time and see this being developed, and then we're going to see it being developed further. And the next bit you're going to see is this all done because surprise, it's magic. See you in a minute. Found it. Found the cause of the stutter. What even is this? What's going on? <laughs>
Guys, it is three days later and I still sound like this. I just cannot shift whatever it is. It just will not leave me alone. It's not allergies. It's this flu thing that is just sitting in my nose and it won't go away. It's starting to get a little bit old. Talking of getting a little bit old, seamless segue. Here's a car ride from 1935. <laughs> <laughs> Kennywood called. They want auto races back. But hey, guys, I love how this turned out. This turned out way better than I thought it was going to be. I didn't know how I was going to top the car ride that I put into Cadenham Castle. But hey, I have somehow managed it. I like how this is. It is simple. It is elegant. And it doesn't need to be any more than this yet because it's 1935. And as I said at the top of the episode, theming doesn't exist yet so this is everything I think this ride would have been in 1935 so we're going to start here at the station you will see that it's a familiar design of station uh, it's because this is like the building style of the entire park so there would be a consistent building style or building shape that would go throughout the entirety of the Royal Mile for now of course it's going to diversify in the future when we start to look into different architectural designs and stuff but this for now is as it would be so i've just made it slightly wider so it's a, it's a station for the car ride uh, and of course and i've just put the um uh, the roof on and stuff now i've had to do a little bit of a, a tricky technique here uh, where this isn't actually eight meters i think it's i think it's seven meters so it's an odd uh, it's an odd width to be working with but hey it works out because we've got these edges these roof edges on here so you don't actually see it that much it works out uh, works out all right actually and you end up being able to use seven meters uh, inside here i've put some concrete stuff down so we've got two ramps here uh, and then of course you would enter one side exit the other we're just going to have to ignore the fact that the guests clip through it guys purists amongst you have a day off i don't care <laughs> it's fine as it is uh, and then we've just got the uh, the whole wooden fences and stuff along here and then I have used the cast iron fencing that we had elsewhere in the uh, in the park just to separate the main uh, the main ride part to uh, this bit now you will notice that all of the uh, runners have all been completed and they are largely lined up now that, looking at the actual real life counterpart this is actually pretty true to life um, these are like the, the runners that stop the cars from going off track and stuff and actually I just I can't work out whether it's elect whether it runs electricity or not I don't think it does but they definitely have runners on the front of the cars and bumpers just to, to stop them right so that's what I'm going for uh, that's what I'm going for here I didn't want to copy it exactly so the track is not raised up um, and I know that the Kennywood one does also raise up and down in a hump in 1930 I don't think it does it now but it certainly did in 1935 um, I have decided not to do that because of reasons I've just decided not to uh, I did think about it I did try it and it just didn't work so I've kept it uh, I've kept it as it is instead and then just like the go-karts I have put the wood floor down so uh, this is the the wooden flooring and what I've tried to do is the tire tracks along here what the one thing I noticed from <laughs> they're not even lined up <laughs> hey just it's fine when a car does, until a car goes over it um, the one thing I noticed from the POV that I was watching from 2014 is that the tire tracks do actually wear down the wood you know like tire motor Ocean, right so that's what I do. that's what I've tried to do here and then alongside this way what I've noticed is that the whenever it's straight track all of the beams are as we're looking at it now they are vertical but then when you're going around a corner they become horizontal and that's because of uh, stresses and bracing and, and all that sort of stuff so that's exactly what I've done here uh, I've put the runners along uh, side here then I just put horizontal bracing here and then vertical bracing here in case you're wondering about these uh, these runners by the way because this doesn't actually touch the wood right so you're probably sitting there thinking well what's the point in that you know why uh, well that's in case the um the car hits the side here it, d it would stand less of a chance of snapping the wood and running out of control because this acts as a buffer so this is like a um a zone a buffer zone if you like where this could actually still hit this uh, uh hit this bit here and then this pillar would stop it snapping to the point where the the ride becomes catastrophically damaged so uh, that runs all the way uh, all the way along and then of course the the real life counterpart has got all of this topping uh, track or this topping wood all along the the side here so i've just copied the same thing i don't really know what purpose it serves to be honest but it looks cool um i'm gonna say it's something to do with the evacuations and whatever but i'm i haven't got a clue i'm making it up so <laughs> it might be it might not be um but it, it looks cool regardless so yeah it's great 
great. And then what I've done underneath is I've just changed all of the uh, terrain stuff, right? So it's muddy and uh, it's not so much grown anymore. And you've got all like the, the crap and stuff that lives uh, that lives underneath it. And then this is what I've done around the outsides here as well. It would still be wear and tear, right? Even though it's grass and it's, and it's open, it's still exactly uh, as you would find it. Here I've put a couple of fountains in, nothing special, like I didn't want it to be special, I didn't want this to be uh, to be anything elaborate, I just wanted a couple of fountains and then just some dotted around flowers for this bit, uh, and then a central uh, flower bed that lives here, uh, and then dotted around some more colour, another fountain that lives here, and then an actual established flower bed here, I, it felt like it needed something of, of that nature, uh, even if I hadn't sort of decided what the inverted commas theme for this ride is, so that's where I've, that's where I've gone here, if you look at the original Kennywood uh, ride from 1935, this is actually way more decorated than that ride ever was uh, because that was just basically in an open field with a couple of dirt patches and a couple of trees and the, the hedges that are running around so if you if you compare this to, to 1935 this is actually a highly decorated ride even though you might look at it and go no no this is not highly decorated at all <laughs> what i've done here then is i've also just put the topiary hedges around this way it sort of breaks up the ride a little bit it gives you a bit of uh, variation a bit of immersive uh, immersive experience and stuff but hey you know uh, it works it works here and then I've also done that here as well so we've just put some topiary hedges in here just to break up this idea of the queue and the the track I quite like how it is actually it gives it a bit of a seamless feel to it so I am partially largely digging it <laughs> uh, loving it but on the top here uh, all i've done is i've just put some flowers some foliage and stuff and uh, bins and benches and whatever the type of stuff that you would normally find this area is going to be developed in some capacity in the future uh, so we are going to have some stuff that's going to go on in here i don't know whether it's going to be the tilt -a whirl uh, that's going to go in or whether it's going to be a uh, a large carousel i haven't decided yet because that's 1939's problem so uh, we'll we'll deal with that in 1939 and then coming down this way this is what we've got here for the uh for the lakeside bit i i did i did have these visions of having the uh the picnic benches right up to the edge here but actually i decided against it uh, i quite like it being sat in the middle where you can actually still walk down this way and you can see out uh, see out the lake right so this is the view that you're going to get from this spot you get a pretty decent view of the what the chair left on the right hand side but the pirate ship that's over that side and then the cafe that's there that nobody's using uh, and then of course the boat ride over this side as well and then the um uh the bridge in the background so yeah i quite like how uh, i quite like how that is how that's sitting and then here with the chair swing i've put in uh the foliage and stuff for the flower bed and whatever all along here so this is now uh, this is now finished and then i just copied across the uh, the small conifer trees along this way now sadly we can't make them grow over time which is a shame but hey maybe they'll just be pruned and whatever and kept at that kept at that shape you know don't quite know how we're going to deal with uh, 1939 onwards uh, that's going to be a bit of a challenge i think i don't know how i don't know what's going to happen to the park i need to do some research because of course stuff is not normal after 1939 uh, so this is the chair swing um, and then of course the queue line itself here I have actually just made this a concrete pad I didn't want this to be uh, the stone or anything it felt like this might actually have just been concrete and they've put it in uh, they've put it in like as a as an afterthought because this queue is a little bit uh, too short or something so this is a technique that I have seen from stuff in 1935 and you see it over in like Coney Island and Kennywood and whatever from uh, and Cedar Point from those um, from those times uh, and then I've kept the original stonework and stuff along here with the chair swing uh, and then I have just tidied up the pathway here uh, and then brought it down but I actually wanted to bring it down to steps so my original uh, my original design there's a technique that you can use where you can do little sections where you lower it over a gradual period of time and then let the path do the autocomplete bit and you end up with a gradual decline um, and that's what I wanted here but I didn't have space to do it so actually I thought well I'm just going to bring this round this way flat and then bring it into some stairs um so that's exactly what i've done and this is exactly what we've got here and i i quite like how it's turned out actually um i've tried my best to hide the curbing but because it's raised path it's quite difficult to do that so it looks all right from this side that's the main uh, that's the main thing so uh, yeah and then the actual uh, key wall itself is just the rough stone or the rough brick uh, colored gray and then the ghostbusters stuff the romanesque stuff that comes with the, the ghostbusters pack uh, just along here just to give it uh, a little bit of bit of personality now whether it would be 
uh, done up in the future uh, as a it'll be modernized or whatever I don't know oh, let's just see what uh, let's just see what happens shall we uh, but yeah this is this is the the chair swing I don't want this chair swing to be any more than this yet again it's 1935 guys remember that like those of you that are expecting all sorts of really beautifully kitted out stuff it's not this is not that kind of park this is a British fairly low budget by this point um park it's like low budget low effort because this is supposed to be a nature park right so this is this is what it is they are spending money and they're starting to spend more and more and more money but the idea of beautiful buildings and theming that's all blackpool pleasure beach that's nothing to do with the royal mile so i'm liking i'm liking it yeah i actually like how this is how this is sitting it's starting to get the feel of a 1935 park where stuff is just being thrown into uh thrown into the the actual mix and it's just you know you do do whatever do whatever you want with it so with that in mind that brings us quite nicely to the end thank you very much for getting to the end of this episode apologies that it's uh, it's short i'm going back to bed because i still feel quite rough <laughs> i think um we should probably go for a ride so you can see what this is uh, what this is like on ride uh, so let's go and do that thank you for getting to the end of the episode if you do like it then you know what to do leave a like leave a comment sub um i'm recording this ahead of being at 10,000. This might actually go out after the 10,000. So thank you if that's the case, because I love you all. Right, let's go for a ride. Take care of yourselves. See you later. Bye.